Listen, Lord, and answer me. Save your servant who trusts in you. I call to you all day long. Have mercy on me, O Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. May the Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, we come together to offer this Mass in praise and thanksgiving for all the wonders in our life. And as we begin this liturgy, as always, we stop and call to mind those times when we have not lived and loved as we are called to live and love trusting in God's mercy and his love and forgiveness, we make our confession. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. And I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <coughs> Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, all truth is from you, and you alone bring oneness of heart to your people. Give us, your people, the joy of hearing your word in every sound, and of longing for your presence more than for life itself. May all the attractions of the changing world serve only to bring us the peace of your kingdom, which this world does not give. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem, summoning their elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. When they stood in ranks before God, Joshua addressed all the people. If it does not please you to serve the Lord, decide today whom you will serve, the gods of your, the gods your father served beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose country you are now dwelling. As for me and for my household, we will serve the Lord. But the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord for the service of other gods, for it was the Lord our God who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, out of a state of slavery. He performed great miracles before our eyes, and protected us along our entire journey, and among the peoples through whom we passed. Therefore we will serve the Lord, for he is our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lonely will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. And the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Many are the troubles of the just one, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. He watches over all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, live in love as Christ loved us. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. 
He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, as we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his life, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the church. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of Jesus' disciples who were listening said, The saying is hard, who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you, that no one can come to me unless it is granted by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. To whom shall we go? We have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. I couldn't help but smile as I read that last part. Because even though Peter said he was convinced, the time wouldn't come when he would deny even knowing who Jesus was. How many of us are like Peter? I think most of us, if we were honest. Peter was impetuous. He was loving. He was faithful. And he was flawed. Yes, Peter, you love me, but the time will come when you will deny me three times. Yes, Peter, you are impetuous. You always say what's on your mind. Yes, Peter, I've chosen you, the illiterate, impetuous, 
open-hearted, open-mouthed, with his foot in it, fisherman, to leave the church. Yes, each and every one of you and me, I have chosen you. In spite of your numerous faults, your numerous failings, your numerous failed attempts at following my message, even so, I call you, I love you, I treasure you, and I want you to be with me. His is the spirit that gives us life. He is the one that loves us in spite of all of our faults, all of our failures, all of the imperfections that each of us have in our minds, in our hearts, in our ways of life. However, even though loves us and accepts us with all of these things, he still expects us to pick ourselves up when we fall, to dust ourselves off, and to keep trying. To keep trying to be another Christ in our world. To carry his message out to show his face in an imperfect world. We are his hands. We are his feet. We are to be his love in a suffering world. And that, my brothers and sisters, is an awesome responsibility. Yet, no matter how much we fail, how much we fumble, how clumsy and even how hard-hearted we can be, he still loves us. He still encourages us to do better. going to follow him? That is our question. That each of us has been asked every day of our lives, do we want to leave him? Will we still follow him? the Lord our God who brought us and our fathers and mothers and brothers and sisters up out of the land of Egypt who performed great miracles before our very eyes and protected us therefore we will serve the Lord for he is our God let us pray for food. we believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth we believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. And the just cry out, The Lord hears and rescues them. Father, 
intensify the, our desire for Jesus, the bread of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Unite everyone who bears Christ's name into one body, one spirit, one church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Nourish the vocations for the single people, married, widowed, religious, and ordained. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Open our hearts and minds and hands in generosity for the victims of the disasters of nature, of greed, of war, of hatred. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heal all the victims of terrorism and war in every tortured land. Restore our armed forces to their homes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ's body and blood, broken and shed for us, may reconcile the estranged, heal the brokenhearted, and comfort the lonely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May Jesus' healing hand be upon all who suffer, mind, body, spirit, that it will bring healing to those suffering from COVID, especially that we may see an end to this disease, that we may inspire, that God will inspire our doctors, our scientists, as they continue to search for treatments and cures. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Speak your word of life to all of our dead, and for the dead who have no one to remember them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked us to pray for them, for those who stand most in need of our prayers, for those who have no one to pray for them, that God will heal them and be with them and strengthen them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own petitions. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. At all times we bless you, Father. You are close to the brokenhearted, and you save the crushed in spirit. In Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness to have bread to walk of which you are just given the human hands of men, and have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be thy forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, with your goodness we have the swine to walk the fruit of the vine and look of human hands, and to become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Merciful God, the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ made us your people. In your love, grant peace and unity to your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We try to give him thanks and praise. Father, it's our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. He is the word through whom you made the universe. The Savior you sent to redeem us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and was born of the Virgin Mary. For our sake, he opened his arms on the cross. He put an end to death and revealed the resurrection. And as he fulfilled your will and won for your holy people. And so we join the angels and the saints in proclaiming your glory as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts and make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, the death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom when you live forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. In his name, the good love of the Lord Jesus Christ, bring you to our life to us.
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Lord, the earth is filled with your gift from heaven. We grow bread from the earth and wine to cheer our hearts. Let us pray. Lord, may this Eucharist increase within us the healing power of your love. May it guide and direct our efforts to please you in all things. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended, go in peace. Thanks. Be to God. Loving Mother of the Redeemer, Gate of Heaven, Star of the Sea, Sister people who have fallen yet strive to rise again. To the wonderment of nature, you bore your Creator, yet remained a virgin after us before. You who received Gabriel's joyful greeting, have pity on us for sin.